Hi. <sighs> I'm so nervous. <sighs> and I feel like I'm about to just like ugh, start crying. Isn't that crazy? Um, hi. Welcome back. I'm Bridget. For those of you who are clicking on this video for the first time and you're like, what's going on with this girl? And uh, if you've watched my videos, um, then you know, hi, I'm Bridget. Um, and I have been gone. I haven't seen you in two years. I need to tinker with something, you guys, because I'm trying not to cry. Um, I haven't been on the channel in two years. Okay, hold on. Let me breathe. Okay, as I was saying, oh my God, why am I so emotional? I haven't been on the channel in like two years. Um, I really feel like I'm about to cry and it's embarrassing. Not because I think crying is embarrassing or anything like that, but just because I didn't expect such an emotional reaction right now. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I say that all the time in my videos and I mean it now probably more than ever i always meant it meant it but i mean it now more than ever um i am doing okay um and i am just hoping to continue to feel better and better i have been gone for two years i never ever expected that at all um so before i left the channel i was dealing with some illness some chronic illness that just kind of came in and took over and kind of flipped life upside down for me. And I kind of alluded to it a little bit here and there in videos. I was going back and looking at some old videos and like in a couple videos, I kind of glossed over it and I was kind of like, oh, I've been sick, blah, 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 but how are you? <laughs> and then in one of my final videos, I, I think it's even in the title, like chronic illness. And I got emotional in that video, kind of alluding to the fact that like I had been so sick. Um, but the truth is that I have been, I had been so ill and there are other things that took place, but a huge piece of what happened is that my health just kind of took over and my body just kind of gave out. And I was trying to figure out life with chronic illness and life with chronic illness became life with chronic illness and then life with mental illness because you know i think something that's not talked about as much is that when you go from living a very ableist life you know and i had for 20 something years to not being able to get out of bed some days and not being able to do simple things we think are so simple and some of them are like being able to take a shower being able to walk around your house um, and things like that. <sighs> um, it really got to me mentally. It really got to me mentally. It really took a toll on me mentally. And I went into a very dark, very deep depression um, that I am just now kind of trying to find my way out of and I'm being super transparent and honest in this video because I know that I'm not the only one that deals with this and I think it's so important to talk about this because I wish I had had people who were going through what I was going through to talk to about it I wish I had been able to find videos or podcasts something like resources for what was happening to me. Like, I can't tell you how scary and alone and just the, the sheer fear that I felt. I particularly remember around 2020 was probably one of the worst periods. I, the fear that I felt, I just went into myself. I just went into myself. I just shut down. Um, I was just going in and out the hospital. It seemed like every week I was at the hospital and, you know, it's crazy because I didn't intend to come on and say all the things that I'm saying to you guys now because of my personal private business, but I've sat here and I've tried to film other videos and I've tried to brainstorm other videos about, you know, makeup and 
skincare and books and all these other things that I care about. I'm super passionate about and I'm excited to film again and do all of those things again. But I'm going to be honest with you, like I haven't been able to sit and film any of that because I can't pretend like the last two years didn't happen. And while I don't feel like I owe you guys an explanation necessarily for where I've been and please don't take that the wrong way like of course I want to let you guys know that I'm okay you know and like all is well now things are a little bit better right like things are a little bit better I am still struggling um but things are a little bit better I'm not in the hospital every week you know and I, I'm trying I'm 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 trying and you know I've figured out with the help of multiple multiple doctors some things that work for me i'll be honest with you though like there are days where there are still so many tears chronic illness is so odd and so um it's hard and you know there will be days where i'm like okay this is what my day is gonna look like and then my chronic illness is like no it's not though <laughs> like it's not at all and that is still very much a mental thing for me and it's very difficult for me to deal with and I'm still trying to figure out life with a chronic illness and how to do every part of my life all over with the chronic illness how to do friendship with the chronic illness how to do romantic relationships with the chronic illness how to do school because if you remember I'm in my PhD program and that's the other thing around the time that I was getting sick you know, I was in the thick of my PhD program. I was still in classes at that point. I'm not now, but I was. And that just completely changed the trajectory of what graduate school looked like for me. And it was super difficult. It was really hard. I think that's why now I'm so emotional while I'm sitting here and saying this because it's just been so hard. And there's been so much that I haven't said because I don't want to be seen, I don't want to be seen or felt sorry for or anything like that. Even with friends, there's been like, I've discussed quite a bit of this with my friends um, and some of it with my family, but there's a lot of it that is like, I don't want to be seen a particular way, but I'll be honest with you, like, it's kind of, I in some ways I feel like I can take a little bit of a breath and I feel like I need to say some of these things now because number one, I need you guys to understand where I'm coming from. And I feel like I owe it to myself to just sit here before I do anything else and say, my life has changed tremendously. I have changed tremendously um, in so many ways, physical and otherwise. Like there was a period of time where I was taking so much medicine. I was on and off steroids. I have put on so much weight for so many different reasons, you know, and like I'm, I'm just now kind of coming out the fog and I'm trying to deal with all of that you know like there was so many periods of times where like I was taking so many different medicines and steroids and stuff and all of that wreaks havoc on the body and it's crazy because I'll even go a step farther and be even more vulnerable like I was sitting here trying to I'm just on my phone um and I've got you guys positioned <laughs> very uh fancily on a ton of coasters and you know some loose powder because I don't have a tripod anymore it's a whole different thing um I need to get one but I'm sitting here trying to position it and I see myself in the camera and mind you guys in the last two years I have not been taking pictures of myself I have not been doing any of that right but I see myself in the camera and I'm like oh no <laughs> like I don't like it I'm like I don't like it I can I can physically see my illness on me and it's hard to see it's hard to see and i know that my road to i don't want to say my road to recovery because i have a chronic illness it's not going anywhere but hopefully my road to um more healing and some semblance of peace is just beginning and you know i want to say to anybody out there most importantly, if you have just been diagnosed with a chronic illness, regardless to your age, oh, I'm so emotional, <laughs> um, that whatever you're feeling right now in this moment, if no one has said it to you, I wish someone had just said to me, you are justified with whatever you feel. I think sometimes like as a society, and this is, and, and let me be clear, like this is a hard thing to do. 
you know, and if you have a friend that's going through this or if you're going through this yourself, right? Like we're not taught these kind of things and it can be hard to know how to support somebody going through this, right? Like I, I, I didn't know any of this before, you know, I didn't know any of this before and I wouldn't have known how to be there for someone going through this. I didn't to know how to be there for somebody going through this. And so I've had to learn to give grace to so many people in my life, just as I asked them to give me grace, because it's, we're learning, we're learning. And so if you have been recently diagnosed with any disability, chronic illness, um, know that I'm, I'm sitting in that moment with you, like not physically, but right now in this moment, I'm sitting in that moment with you. And I hope you feel a little less alone because it is a hard moment to get that. And it's weird because depending on what your story is, either, you know, you're like, oh, I have a diagnosis or it's, it's hard. It's emotional. Or it's for me, it was somewhere in the middle. I was like, Oh, whew, I have a diagnosis. And also it was so hard. It was so emotional because there had been two years of, we don't know what's wrong with you, hospital visits and all these things and my life had just flipped upside down. It felt like my whole life had just fallen apart. So by the time they gave me the diagnosis, I was like, okay. You know, like I, I, I almost felt like a level of anger, to be honest, when I got the diagnosis, because I was like, okay. You know, well, I was like, well, my, so much of my life has already fallen apart. Now you give me this. Like, where, like, where have you been? You know, um, and so just know that like, it might feel like you're alone. And actually, you know what? Let me not even minimize that and say that you're not alone. You, you might actually truly be alone going through this. And my heart is with you if you are, because not everybody has a support system. And even if you have the best support system in the world, there are just some parts of dealing with a chronic illness that I feel like your support system, sometimes they can't cover they can't cover um because either they don't know how and there's there is a grieving process in dealing with a chronic illness that i wish somebody had told me was going to happen i feel like some of it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks and i've done it and then some of it i'm experiencing right now <laughs> and it almost feels like i'm grieving who I was before I was Bridget and also Bridget with a chronic illness. Do you know what I mean? Because there are aspects of my life that I just can't pretend are different. And I'll be honest with you, when I tried to pretend that I was still exactly the same, that was not healthy either. Like I'm not saying let it be all consuming, but find some middle ground. Because when I tried to pretend like, oh, nothing has changed at all, I got worse because I wasn't attending to the ways that I needed to care for myself. I wasn't attending to the ways because it made me feel horrible. It made me feel terrible. I was like, oh, so I just got out of bed and I need to get back in bed. Oh, now I've spent three days in bed. I, I can't go do the dishes. I like it. It was a process. So as I sit before you now, having been talking for over 13 minutes, I, <laughs> I'm like, what do I want you guys to know? Um, I've changed a lot in the last two years. Um, you know, I don't intend for this channel to be a channel that is just all about chronic illness or mental health for that period, but I am a human being and I am, you know, I'm, I'm over here experiencing real life. And I have always said that on my channel and I have always tried to let that shine through. Um, and so with that, you know, we probably gonna talk about some of it because it's what's happening, period. Some of it I'm gonna keep for me and I'm gonna keep to myself for no other reason besides this is the worldwide internet. <laughs> and some of it is just extra personal and some of it I'm still working through. I'm sitting here with no answers. All I have is the piece of the experience that I've had so far. Um, and yeah. I think 
that's I, I didn't script this. I don't have notes. I probably should have had some version of notes, but I didn't because I've tried to film this plenty of times. I haven't liked how it came out. I just, everything about sitting down with this has been very uncomfortable for me today. And so I was just finally like, you know what? Do it or it's not going to happen. So that is what I'm doing. Um, I am looking forward to getting back to filming. Please allow me some grace as I do that because I feel like I don't know how to do this anymore. YouTube has also changed so much. Mind you, I've been gone for two years from my channel, but I have still been watching a ton of YouTube. Excuse me. Oh, the burps are back. They know that I'm filming now. <laughs> um, but um, what was I saying? I'm a little foggy, you guys, because I'm coming down from like a really intense episode. Um... What was I saying? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I have still been watching quite a bit of YouTube when I could because there was actually a very long period of time where I could not even watch YouTube. Like, I, I, because of the nature of my illness, like, I couldn't be exposed to, like, my phone. I couldn't look at anything. My phone, my computer, light, sound, nothing. It got bad and um i'm glossing over a lot of that right now because number one i'm not ready to talk about some of it and number two um i'm really trying hard not to sob right now because there's been a lot of sobbing <laughs> for lots of other reasons but i'm really trying hard not to sob right now in this moment and so maybe as i feel compelled and it feels appropriate and more importantly i think purposeful um i will discuss some of those things potentially um but right now in those moment in this moment like i don't feel the need to talk about details i just wanted to encourage anybody who is going through it especially if you're in the thick of it um because know that right now i'm having a high day today is a high day for me i was able to get out the bed this morning and i have not had to get back in the bed that is a high day for me and that is not, you know, just how I'm around here living life. So know that. And so I understand, you know, like I understand if today is not a high day for you. I, I understand. I understand. And I, I know what it feels like to feel like you're failing every day and to feel like your body's failing you and to feel like you're being betrayed and not understand it. I know what it feels like. I, I know what it feels like. Um, so I'm going to end it here because I've been talking for a long time. Um, I just felt like I needed to say something around this before I said anything else. I don't even think I'm going to go back and watch this video back because I'm afraid that if I go back and watch it back, I won't put it up. So I'm going to trust my gut and my heart. And I think I'm going to just put it up. Okay. I will see you guys soon in another video. I hope you're well. Take care of yourselves. All right.